Lockie Fogarty. This was a good story for me. We got 17 games out of him. And to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really watch him at Geelong. I remember him coming in to the side, the Geelong side, uh, in a patch where Joel Selwood was hurt with a hamstring in 2020. And I remember seeing Fogarty had done some good things. But apart from that, I didn't really know what to expect. And if you look at his first, what was it? His first four or five games, it, it was a revelation. It was like, wow, the guy's got composure, uh, footwork, the balance. And uh, the, you know, you could just sort of tell that, oh, wow, this is a guy that has not played for Carlton. He's not blazing away. He's got composure. And it's funny. Um, 20 touches, 21 touches, and 25 touches in his first three games. And the play ratings, if you look at the document, he, he was right up there. You know, He was averaging, I think, at eight. Point five for a player rating. Um, he dipped off a little bit, but I mean, I think overall the picture of Lockie Fogarty's season was was a tick for me. It was a it was very much a a pass, and um, he sort of had a bit of a, a rough patch, a lean patch, and then he started coming into it again towards the end of the season. And um, he's a good recruit. Um, I can't I can't complain about it. I think he's someone that will help push the likes of Dow and O'Brien and and Samo and Fisher. They're sort of in this similar age bracket. And I think it's a good thing. Um, and I think he's definitely someone we can be confident he's going to work for us in the future. Well, I think so. Can you really be confident with anything these days? I don't know. Um, but his work rate and his tackling ability and just, I can't explain it, but like the way he tackles, there's a, there's a difference. Rather than just trying to corral, he really hunts and tackles. And he had a few games with seven at tackles, eight tackles. And and that's really what you want from him. His ferocity was was definitely evident from the outset. And, you know, he I think he proved himself. But again, I don't want to get too complacent. That's it. 2021 is over. It's an eight-win season. We need to move on. He's obviously, you know, going to be working hard to get better, as, as they all are, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And and that's really where I sit with him. Where's his role? Well, this is interesting because I think all the players, it's, it's almost a new beginning. It, it really is. I mean, we don't have a coach at the time of filming this. We don't have a philosophy that we can say, oh, this player fits with this coach's philosophy in this position. And that's exciting for me because everyone's on a, on, a, on a fresh slate. There's no bias with with philosophies for coaches yet. So is, is Fogarty going to become a midfielder? Is he going to be that half forward type? To be honest, I really see him as a midfielder. I just don't know where he fits into the equation right now because we seem to have plenty of them and we therefore seem to want to find a way to put them in the forward line or or find another position for them. I mean, I understand the tackling ability is probably why he plays in that half forward role and, you know, that defensive pressure forward of center is, is definitely valuable and he he provides that. Um, but I think he's got some, some class and some moves and I'm really impressed with his footwork. Uh, it doesn't really get spoken about too much, but his ability to sort of pitter-patter through stoppages is, is something that I hope he he keeps working on and, and keeps bringing to the table that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy with what we got from Lockie Fogarty. And I think we, um, I think we nailed that and, you know, full credit to the recruiters for identifying that. Um, and, you know, I think he will, he just seems like a guy that will buy in. I, I just think he, he plays his role and I just hope my, my hope for him is that he doesn't become, you know, similar to what a lot of others before him have become whereby Come to Carlton, first season, show a little bit, bit of promise. And then, you know, the sad statement is that they then become Carlton players and complacent and inconsistent and, and whatnot. So I hope he keeps his Geelong mentality at the moment. That's probably a statement that goes to show where the faith is in, you know, what is the Carlton way and who are the Carlton people and who are the Carlton players. So I just hope that that hunger stays there with him and his, his ability to want to buy into to what we're doing. Because I think he did a pretty good job of that this year, and, and that was evident the way I watched him play anyway. So really keen to get your thoughts on him. Where do you see him playing in the future? Is it really what he did in 2021 and then just more of it? And I guess we'll have more of a discussion about it in the comments.